everybody, and welcome to the Humphrey Coliseum. It's Mississippi State's National Girls and Women's in Sports Day, and also the Play for K Breast Cancer Awareness Game. And we certainly hope Mississippi State's going to come out fired up from the opening tip. Paloma's going to be wearing pink with a white trim and lettering. They'll have the Mississippi State word mark across the chest. Well, pink is my favorite color, but besides that, it's deeper than it being your favorite color. You know, um, it's people fighting for their lives. So to be able to do something so special every year and show people that we're supportive and to be able to have this game at such a, on such a big platform is special. I feel like using our platform is a great thing. You know, there's a lot of people that watch the game, so just you know, not only going out there and playing basketball, but playing for something bigger than basketball. I mean, it means so much because it's bigger than basketball. For us to be able to wear pink today is just, it just, it just highlights my day, honestly, because it's exciting. We put on our pink jerseys, we feel good, but we also know for, it's for a bigger cause. You know, just speaking up or speaking out and just drawing as much as attention as I can. Like I said, it's deeper than basketball, so just any chance I can to you know, speak about something is just always joyful to me. Them knowing what this pink game means uh, is everything, I feel like. Especially like the little kids, like they're gonna know why we're wearing pink. And so for them to see that and maybe if they see us wearing it, then they wanna learn more about it and maybe become doctors one day as well. So I think it's bigger than like basketball or anything that we could ever imagine. the shoes things go bad don't make your boy light them up during the game don't make him line them up during the game okay because you all got to bring your own light all right and we talked about we have had three great days of practice but when this light comes on out there we got to go get it we got everything that we want so the only way we screw this up if we screw it up ourselves and not tonight no no because what kind of basketball are we gonna play pretty. pretty and like i said it's eye contact for me words of encouragement fist pounds next play mentality defense creates offense for four quarters all right any questions from you all Let's go out there, let's have fun, and let's get this home crowd something to cheer about. Because the last time you did it, it was electric. Let's do it again. Getting up in the air on the right block was Jaquela Jordan. Decided to dish it off to Aaron Barnum on the right block. She scores it. He puts it on the floor, takes it to the basket, puts it up in and good. Park Lane drives it, scores it, and the ball over up two. Swings it over in the corner. Poe from the left side. Got it. The free shot Poe with a three, and that's the first triple for the Bulldogs. You got to maintain and give me two minutes so then I can sub and then punch you in the face. Park Lane in the corner. Rogers squares and fires. There we go. Rogers busts it in the left corner. Rolling the floor. It's Park Lane. Bounce pass over to Barnum off the window quickly, and it good. No lazy turnovers. They almost got us to start the house. Relax, guys. Bounce pass down the left lane line to Carter. Spins to right, puts it off the window with the right hand, and it good. Great bucket by Jessica Carter as 12. Jordan gets the loose ball, turns around, puts it up, and it good. There's 53 seconds to go inside to Goni off the window, and it good. Goni gets in on the scoring action. They want up, let's make it up. Check back into the contest. Thomas now three ball from Rogers left corner. Barnum three on the way, yes! And it's 70 to 54, and it's the largest lead of the game for State at 16. And now puts it up for the SEC. They'll go can't get it to go, but Carter's take back off the window is good. And Mississippi State is going to get their 20th win of the season. The Bulldogs beat the Bulldogs. Mississippi State with a win here in Starkville. We're just improving as a team every single day. Uh, we're fully aware that it could be anybody's night any any day. Um, so, you know, just we're always feeding the high hand and, you know, sharing the ball. And, you know, we're it's about to be March, so we want to keep going up. 
to think what the, the color pink means and the breast cancer survivors and those who have lost somebody because of cancer, I try to put it in perspective for my young women. There's bigger issues than us trying to figure out how to score two points. So let's go out there and give honor for what this game is and play for those who have lost somebody or are battling through cancer. And that's the biggest thing we could do. And I thought my young women have done that in the Texas A&M game and now this. Um, and then National Girls and, and Women's Sports Day. Uh, you know, obviously I, I'm very partial to the sport because one, I coach it, but I got three little daughters. Um, and it's really cool when I have some legends on my staff, like Michelle Clark Hurd, who's been in the game forever. She's seen women's basketball change like no other. And to hear her testimony uh, and her story is unbelievable. It gives me goosebumps. And then you got Muriel Page, who was one of the, I call them OGs in the WNBA. She was one of the first ones. And then now look at the opportunities that are in the WNBA. Then I get goosebumps because think about our LSU game. All right, how many people got to watch women's basketball on a national stage? And, and, and we've been fighting for this space and it's here. It's all about inspiring the young girls growing up um, to, you know, break down barriers and all stereotypes. So um, it's a pretty cool day to me and seeing the impact that women have on the game. But seeing how the game has grown over the years is like really such a joy to see. Participating in sports, especially as a female, um, just over all the years you gain confidence, not only on the court or on the field, but when you're finished playing sports, it's just, you, you learn things from the sport, um, you learn things from people you meet. I've just seen so many like amazing women like uh, before me like come out and just play their sport that they love, and I just love the game, so it's just great to be here doing what I love. It's not always easy, you know, being a woman in sports, especially like growing up to where I am now. Um, I face, I've been through a lot and I've had to face a lot. So being able to, you know, stick to what we love, whether it's basketball, soccer, tennis, volleyball, being able to continue to, um, you know, like I said, break down the stereotypes is amazing. Even growing up, when I used to try to go play basketball in the park with my brother, and they would be like, you know, I don't want to pick her because she's a girl. Like, I don't want to hurt her, she's a girl. But it's just like, you know, we have the same, you know, talent and skill set, and we, we have confidence. So it's just, just growing up and just being always, you know, the last one picked because I was a girl or just something like that. Just, I just never let it phase me. And I just, you know, took it one foot in front of the other. And, you know, I'm here now. Growing up and not just like the safest neighborhood, um, it just helped me have like an outlet and it was just amazing for it to be there for me because I just fell in love with the game. We've been fighting for what we want. Um, the girls aren't afraid to be themselves and just go out and play for themselves. And you know, women's basketball and not even women's basketball, but women's sports all around the world is you're getting more views and getting more credit and attention. And it's just something you just go out there like years ago, you know, there would be a few people in the stands and it's now it's just so much support for the women and it's just it's just something you you love to see we all come together and play together and fight together because we we're doing what we love <laughs>